guess I have about two minutes until he finds me, so at least I have enough time to go out doing what I love, helping you guys with writing. Here comes some great advice on conflicts. Know your conflict types. If you've seen my other videos about conflict, you're sick of hearing them. If not, they're man versus man, man versus nature, or man versus self. Decide which conflict type you want to take precedence. It's always a good idea to incorporate all three types of conflict at least a little bit, but you should make sure one takes dominance over the other two. Make sure your protagonist's goal is clear. There's nothing worse than being stuck in the shoes of a wishy-washy protagonist throughout a story. We need to know what your main character is after, so that we can join them in their triumphs when they achieve it, and be crippled by devastation when setbacks prevent them from achieving that goal. Speaking of setbacks, make sure you throw at least three in your protagonist's way on their way to achieving their goal. You don't want to make it too easy, so make sure you throw some shade at your protagonist before they get what they're after. Make your main character lose. Remember those setbacks? Those are opportunities for your protagonist to learn and grow. That doesn't mean they have to solve every problem and overcome every hurdle the first time they face it. Nobody does that in real life, and your protagonist shouldn't either. Make sure those setbacks that we talked about have variety. Don't just line your main character up for the same slam dunk three times in a row. For instance, if your conflict type is primarily man versus man, don't just have the protagonist square off against the bad guy three times. Spice up your conflict by adding some backstabbing or some soul-crushing doubt. While we're on the topic of bad guys, never write a bad guy. He or she is called an antagonist and should be treated like a complete character just like everyone else in the story. Villain is just as bad a trope as sidekick or comic relief character. Make your setting relevant in your conflict. Even if your conflict isn't primarily a man versus nature type, it still should be important where the story takes place. If not, then readers are bound to ask, why is this happening here? Don't waste this huge tool to slam some doors in your protagonist's face. Don't make it too easy. Give your main character a rough time. To help this is it, gang. If you like this video, check out my other videos and subscribe to the Roadside Writer to honor my memory. I should probably find something to defend myself. Roadside Writer.